Frank Calabrese was one of Chicago's most infamous and feared mobsters. He died in 2012, but now a gift he gave a close family friend has resurfaced. CBS News' Jim Williams joins us live. Jim, we're talking about a rifle. And Eric and Brad, the man who has had that rifle since the 1980s now wants to sell it. There's no bullets in it. Better to have a high-powered rifle pointed at you over Zoom than in person. The man holding the weapon is Frank Coconati, who was once close to an infamous Chicago mob family. He did a lot of heavy work. Heavy work meant hurting people, killing people, blowing things up. That's Coconati's close friend, Frank Calabrese Jr., describing his father, Frank Sr., an outfit boss in our CBS2 documentary, What Happened to the Chicago Mob. Coconati on the right with Frank Sr. told us he was treated like a member of the Calabrese family back in the 1980s. I got to be honest with you, I was um, thrilled. Like, you know, you get a little, you're excited because you're around these people. These people have such energy around them. Coconati says Frank Sr. took him to target practice with that rifle. It belonged to Frank Sr.'s brother, Nick, a reputed hitman. Nick Calabrese was a top killer for the mob. At the target range, Coconati was a poor shot. Frank Calabrese Sr. was not. This was Frank's target? This was Frank's target, the old man, Sr. It was, it was bullseye, three shots. Coconati believes he was being groomed for a life in the mob, but he was convinced that was not the life for him, as he told Frank Calabrese's son. He said, listen, you know, this stays with us and it'll, it'll never be brought up again. And he said, would you kill? Would you kill for the for the crew? I thought for a while, thought for a while, I said, I can't lie to you. I can't do it. I can't uh, I can't take someone else's life. Still, Calabrese Senior gave Coconati this rifle, which he's had now for 35 years. It's a one-shot sniper rifle. He calls it a ghost that he would like to sell. I would like to put it in one of those museums, those mom museums. Really? I also would like to sit with Nick Calabrese and, and talk to him about the story, about the gun. Nick Calabrese is said to be in witness protection. He turned on his brother, Frank Sr., who died in prison nine years ago. Frank Jr. is out of the mob. He leads mob tours of famous mob sites in Chicago, Erica. Well, Jim, you know we have to ask, do we know if this rifle was used in any crimes? Well, Frank Coconati says that Frank Calabrese Sr. told him the rifle was clean. In other words... Uh, not used in a crime, but can we know that for sure now? No. Yeah. All right, Jim, thank you.